Okay, so this uh, video is being created to support the lesson on data representation with a particular focus on sound uh, and it's for the IGCSE computer science uh, course. So the first thing that needs to be clarified is that uh, I have a, a microphone which has been attached to the computer and this is the input device that will be used to record the sound um, in order then to generate the sound wave. Uh, which we can analyze in a little bit more detail. So the first thing I'm going to do is just press the record button and using this piece of software Audacity uh, it will generate the sound wave um, and then we can take a look at the, the sound wave uh, itself. So uh, here goes. I love computer science. Okay so we can see that that sentence has been generated uh, in Audacity uh, as a sound wave um, and if we zoom in a little bit further into the sound wave we can see that the sound itself has been broken down um, into lots and lots of different segments uh, and we know that because if we have a look at these tiny tiny dots over here the computer has taken an exact recording of the position of these dots and, and then it's, it's able to reconstruct. Now these small uh, segments uh, are called samples and the more samples that a uh, computer is able to take obviously the better the quality um, that, that we will be able to reproduce uh, and we can see over here on the left if we zoom in that each of these tiny samples has a, a, a number attached to it this is a deanery number uh, that will eventually get converted to a binary number and then the, this collection of zeros and ones will then be stored in computer's memory uh, and uh, reversing that process will obviously reconstruct the sound wave uh, again.